Checking in with Wayne Simmons, who uh, I think has had reason to enjoy this time uh, a little more than, than others. Wayne, uh, it's unusual, obviously, for players to be home as early as you were. But uh, as we found out when you immediately came to Buffalo, you were already in a bit of a transition with, uh, with a young daughter. Yeah. Um, so, that, so obviously, I think within you know, the last two months, she's turned 11 months. She started walking. Um, you know, obviously doing, you know, a, a number of things that, um, you know, I wouldn't be able to see if we were in season. So um, there is a silver lining to it. Obviously, we want to be playing hockey, but it's nice to see, um, you know, those first steps with your, with your child. Yeah, what was it like for you? Um, it's pretty crazy. I, we, me and my wife were actually downstairs in the basement in the gym working out. And uh, so we, we, like, I do one set, she watches the baby, and then she'll do, like, we just flip-flop, and then, I was in the middle of a set and she just starts yelling at me. I'm like, what? Like, am I in like, bad form or like, what am I doing wrong? And then I turn around and she's walking for the first time. So it was, um, it was unbelievable to see. That's so cool. That's a great story. Um, beyond like, what, what do you feel as, as um, and you know, you're almost a year in here. Yeah. What, 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 is the, what is the challenge like for you as a parent? What do you embrace and what do you still kind of feel like you need to get better at? Um, probably the early mornings, I think <laughs> maybe I'll be a little bit more receptive to them. Um, you know, I think it's great now just waking up, getting a coffee immediately because when uh, my daughter wakes up, she's like full of energy immediately. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I got to match her, you know, her intensity right off the bat. So it's, it's a coffee and then, you know, right to the, her, her playpen. <laughs> were, you, were you always a coffee drinker? No, that's the fun. Like everyone always said, my mom always said, you know, like, you'll realize why we drink coffee soon enough. And then you know, we had our first child and I got on the coffee train. So not even as a player. Well, I, you drink coffee here and there, but yeah, um, because you know what it's like. The guys are, I mean, that's their thing, right? Hop on the bus. Yeah, yeah, the no, rink. Like, yeah. I would still generally like, I'll probably have like a quarter cup of coffee here or there, like during a game or like whatever, just to like, cause I don't like Red Bull. So right. I prefer like having coffee. So I have like a quarter cup, but that actually didn't really start until um, like we got our dogs and our dogs were kind of like, they're like your first children. Right. So oh, they yeah. wake up early. You got, you got to let them out at like five in the morning. And then I kind of started that, but like that wasn't until like my sixth or like seventh year in the league. And now I find myself like, you know, you're in the middle of the afternoon and you're like, you know, maybe I need to have a coffee now to stay alive. <laughs> what were you like in junior? How did you get through all those grinding hours on the bus? Um, I don't know. You're, you're young, right? Like it's, yeah. it doesn't really matter. You got no responsibilities. When you do get home, you can sleep until whenever you want to sleep. You have no responsibilities. So yeah. um, it's a little bit, obviously that's a lot easier to deal with, but um, you know, you get older and you know, you become an adult and you get more responsibilities. So uh, you got to be awake. <laughs> you still got, do you still have the dogs? Oh yeah. Yeah. What we got kind of dogs? dogs. Uh, I got uh, two Dobermans. One six. His name is Jax. The other one's name is Bo and he's four. So kind of after Bo Jackson. Where would you, uh, where would you rate Bo Jackson then among, you know, all the athletes that you probably looked up to as a kid? Uh, he's got to be top like three four I would say just mm -hmm. he was an all-star in two sports how many people have ever done that nobody I think yeah. he's the only one pretty much like I know Deion Sanders played football yeah and and baseball as well right but yep. so you were you a big two guy right? we talked about that right I, yeah I played baseball growing up I loved baseball yeah. um I the last two sports I were playing like actually like in leagues I played in hockey and baseball and my dad was like okay you got to make a decision now mm -hmm. he wanted me to play baseball and I wanted to play hockey so um, I ended up playing hockey hockey is obviously what I what I love the most but mm -hmm. I know I've always been a big sports guy in general and baseball was one I played a lot when I was younger. How is the body feeling now that uh, you've had a little extended period here to uh, to recoup? Feels pretty good. Um, you know, like I said, me and my wife here, we've just, we've just been doing our daily workouts. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, when you get an extended period of time like this, I think it's it's good to take advantage because, like, once we go back and we are playing, you don't get that time back. So, um, you know, I've tried to use it as smart as possible. Um, I have been obviously doing what I have to do to stay in shape for when we do get back. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, allowing, you know, that time. Obviously, everyone has a little bit of bumps and bruises during the season. So. Um, you know, just trying to get, you know, back to 100, 100, 100%.
You're at 909 NHL games played. Did you ever think of a thousand prior to becoming an NHLer? And do you think of it now with any great significance? Um, beforehand, no. Never really thought of it. Obviously, as a kid, your goal is just to make the NHL. Um, I don't think you really care how many games you play. You just want to get there. And then once you get to the NHL, you realize, you know, you could have a substantial career. Um, you still don't think about it. I don't feel. I didn't in any way. And then mm -hmm. I think now I started to approach 900 games earlier this year. Then I actually kind of started thinking about it. And I was like, holy cow. Like, it, it goes so fast. You don't even yeah. realize, like, where the time has gone. I think this is my 12th year. Mm -hmm. And I still feel like, you know, like I'm a young kid at heart. And, you know, like I just got into the league. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's a good feeling to have, like still cool. loving the game and taking, you know, everything, not, not taking anything for granted. Right. And, and honestly, Wayne, I, I know people look at how you've played the game and think that, you know, you, it has taken a toll. But you're all, you are still young. Like when, I, I'd love to do the quick research on this, but I mean, you're 31, you're 32 in the, in the summer. Um, yeah. that, you know, that, that can still leave a lot of time for guys in the NHL. So to, to be this close to a thousand already, I think is a real credit to you. I appreciate that. But yeah, no, I'm definitely, I'm still, young. I've got a lot of life left in me. Um, you know, I got a lot of legs left in me. Um, you know, obviously I think, like you said, people said it, they think that it's taking a toll on me. Um, you know, you play the game the right way, you know, eventually, um, you know, something happens, but like you said, I am young and my body, you know, recuperates well. And, um, you know, I, my body feels extremely good, um, you know, way better now than it has the last couple of years. So, um, you know, I, I feel like, I, you know, I can play for at least another four or five years easily. When you um, view everything that you've done, obviously you're coming off winning the, the Messier Leadership Award. And, and I think your, your status, if you will, in, in Philadelphia was cemented greatly by everything you did on and off the ice in that community. Um, how, do you, how do you view what you have accomplished when it comes to, to both facets on and off the ice? And what do you still hope to achieve? Um, I think for uh, what I hope to achieve, it's kind of more of the same. Um, you know, obviously I bounced around the last little, obviously the last year and, you know, haven't found the home yet. But once I do, um, you know, find where I'm going to be, I'm definitely going to contribute to the community again. Um, you know, it's something I take great pride in, you know, wherever I am. Um, I've had my charity tournament back in Scarborough, my hometown. Um, I haven't done it the last two years, but I did the seven years previous to that. And mm -hmm. um, I've always been a, a big believer of giving back um, to the community. Um, without the community, you aren't ever going to be what, what um, you know, like what I've done um, on the ice. I wouldn't have been able to do it without the community, sure. whether it be at home in Scarborough or in Los Angeles or Philadelphia or wherever I've played, right? Um, so that's something that I've, I've always been a big believer of. And, you know, I'll continue to do that. Uh, we talked when you arrived about your family. I, I think you have, a, um, they, they've got Canada covered pretty well, if I remember yeah. correct. Do you have, do you, uh, everywhere. West yeah, do you have them in the, across the U.S. too or just Canada? Uh, no, just Canada. So, yeah. um, as and we, is everybody well? Yeah, everyone's great. Everyone's doing fine. Um, so I'm, I'm obviously happy for that. So there's a lot of phone calls there and stuff. Um, you know, my dad's out in Nova Scotia with my other brother. I was talking to them, mm -hmm. uh, yesterday for quite a while. So it was, you know, it, it sucks not being able to see anybody. Right. But obviously I think, you know, in the circumstances, the way they are now, you got to make sure that, um, everyone's healthy first and foremost, you know, that's the biggest thing at this moment. All right. Uh, who are you keeping in touch with, uh, teammate wise, uh, the most? Uh, we got a couple team chats going on. So guys are obviously, you know, firing things in there. Um, you know, I've been, you know, I only really played seven games, so I didn't have, um, a chance to get to know too many guys on like a huge personal level. So, right. um, you know, obviously I talk in the team chats, but I haven't had too many other, um, interactions, but, um, you know, I, I obviously it's something I'm hoping we get back into it. Mm -hmm. you know, so I can learn the guys more and I can be, you know, more a part of stuff like that. Absolutely. It's definitely in your DNA. And uh, we appreciate the time today, Wayne. And uh, congrats on being able to see some of those milestone moments with your daughter. That's fantastic. Stay well. I will. Thank you very much. I appreciate you having me.